In this video we're going to go over some events like the key um, press events, key down and key up. Um, I'm going to say velocity, make, I'm going to just go ahead and make sure that velocity x and y are zero because that's very important. Um, first thing we need to do is say um, we need to be able to make it we can move the player left and right. So I'm going to create a section for events. See up here he said on key down and on key up. So we're going to have two events. I want to label this right here variables. So we're going to have two events, and the first is going to be function key down e, and then function key up e. And for the key down, I'm going to say if string dot from car code e dot key code is equal to the percent sign then let's just do something like say player dot x plus equals plus equals five and minus equals five and a single quote now when we refresh this as you can see you can move your character with the I kinda got it backwards it should be plus and then minus wait no it should be minus and then plus there we go now you can move your character left and right but this isn't the way we're going to do it because it's not the best way and it's actually not a very good way at all um, so how I'm going to do it is I want to say um, I'm going to create some variables I like to create variables and I'll say var and I'm going to name this variable um, is left and equals false and I'm going to create another variable called is right and you make it equal to false and so we're going to say if you if um, and if you don't know this the the percent sign the character code um, represents a right key I think and then this one represents the left key or it could be the other way around I forget but these are for left and right keys a percent sign and a single quote so then we're going to say when a keys down if it's this one we're going to say um, let me make sure which is which hold up give me a second um, yeah so the percent sign is for left and so we're going to say if I press the left key then is left equals true and if I press the right is right equals true but what happens if we release them well I'm going to say function actually I'm just going to copy all of this and I'm going to have function key up and it's going to be the same exact thing except it's going to set them to false so this is going to say if you release the keys then they're going to be set to false so there, so now is left and is right will only be true if that key is being currently being held down. And now what we want to do is we want to go to variable adjustments, and I'm going to always put things like this. I'm going to say player dot x plus equals player dot velocity x, player dot y plus equals player dot velocity y. Now as you can see currently the player won't move at all because velocity x and y is zero. But I want to say if is left then player dot velocity y player dot velocity x equals three. Then if is right player dot velocity y or x equals negative 3 or actually left should be the negative 3 and this one should be the positive 3 then if it's not is it's is left is false and is right is false then player dot velocity x equals 0 now if we were to run this as you can see you can move your player with the left and right arrow keys simply because um, 
And as you can see, you can go ahead and move them out the screen, make them come back. Um, that just is this tutorial for events. We s we just set it up um, so it could we could have variables that are true for holding one of the keys down, and then um, we if we can, we can just check if none of them are currently being held down, then just go ahead and um, stop 